Hey guys, this is F9 and I'm back with another video for the tarot. I got a lot going on right now, so I'm not showing my face this video. I'm not in the process of changing your hairstyle, so I ain't trying to be on here looking mad ghetto. Oops. I ain't trying to be on here looking mad ghetto. But thank you so much for tuning in, Leo. Y'all are dope as fuck. Um, please hit that like button if you already see my videos and you know you love it. This one's probably fire. Um, and subscribe to my channel. And this one also because I've been like thoroughly pulled to do y'all reading for a couple days now, but I just have so many things going on. So I guess this moment is just me gathering up all the information I got on you guys. And I'm also whispering because it's like 7.30 in the morning and I just put my daughter down for her like last leg like of her, you know, night sleep. So it's, we, we want to keep it quiet for her bit. But, um... Welcome to my um, tarot page. Um, I've been having some downloads for you guys for like the last 30 minutes. Um, I got Selenite here. I'm just going to jump into it. I got Selenite, I got Adventure, Queen, and I have Quartz. Something tells me, Leo, that you either need a lot of pure purification, adventure, and... Um, luck ambition especially when it comes to the matters of fortune but i feel like you guys either need to work on being your purest form self at this level in your life um or someone around you needs to be purified and you need a little adventure in your life but um you ever watch hunchback on notre dame you never ever Y'all know who Esmeralda is? That's the kind of energy I'm getting for y'all. Esmeralda is in my head. I don't know who the fuck Esmeralda is. Maybe in your life. Maybe y'all have an Esmeralda in your life. Maybe a love interest or something. This is to someone specific. Or what? But I hear her feeling like a gypsy. Like you just gotta get up and go. Like you're just jumping into new things without even hearing that and that's really rope that's like really really bold leo because it's mercury and retrograde like that's the last thing you're supposed to do is jump into things head ass like for real leo march 2020 um quick announcements before we really get into this jam um and for some of y'all y'all might be in a jam in march oh my god but um the specials I have going on right now, I currently have a Twin Flame a tarot special. I usually do Twin Flame videos for like, for personals for like $70 because I'm, I don't forget I am getting your energy and your other, and your counterpart's energy. That's some strong ass energy, so it's $70. Um, but I'm doing a special right now where you can get it for 45 And that's pretty good. That's like... Not quite 50%, but damn near, near 50% off, 333. So, yeah, jump in and get that if you guys want to know about your twin flame and whatever energy comes through for the energy between y'all. Um, also, I have um, two questions for $20. You can only ask me two questions. Please do not make them lengthy-ass questions. I need a sentence, <laughs> like a sentence, a question, questionable sentence, like that type of energy like no shade to anyone but like i'll do those specials and someone will hit me with a paragraph of a question filled with different questions do i look dumb to y'all y'all crazy a, a sentence of a question please i don't even try to be rude it's early but that's the energy i'm getting from y'all leo like y'all are not y'all are not in the mood for, for bs um so yeah Two questions for ten dollars. Oh, sorry. Yeah, two questions for twenty dollars. Um, and my last special I have going on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, two questions for twenty dollars. Um, and my last special I have going on. I did the twin flame. Two for twenty. Um. Oh yeah. Right now, I developed uh, Amazon wish list 
for those who want to support my channel, want to see me grow, genuinely want to see me grow, because I am a small tarot reader, like, let's not be shady. Um, but some tarot readers will hit you with, the, oh, you can only have the link for, like, two weeks or a month or six months. No, you have that shit forever. Like, it's yours. So, if you guys are interested in that, that's a good way to get your march going. You know, it's tax season or whatever. Um, and my tarot readings are more than just readings. Like, when you're reading off the cards, I literally do intuitive reading. I feel the energies. I talk to spirit. They give me messages also through music, through crystals, um, through spirit animal totems. Sometimes y'all have people from the other side cross over. Like, and I'll give you that information. And I'll also give y'all, you know, the deets on what chakra you need to heal. And we can tap into that chakra and see what's triggering it. So I do a lot of my tarot readings. And I also build a relationship with, like, I know I build a relationship with, like, all my clients. Like, y'all are dope as fuck. Like, there's not no... Okay, I did your reading next person. No, like I genuinely built friendships with my my subscribers because one day, you know, I want to go on like a intuitive tour. And I wanna meet y'all, meet and greet, stuff like that. So let's you know, if that's what you're interested in, I got those for y'all. Okay, so we just gonna jump into this shit now. Thank y'all for listening to that, because I was a little ramble, honey. I'm super mellow, it's so early. The spirit's up. I got I got my coffee, my little, uh, my staple. Okay? Staple. What the fuck? Like. Who's her though? They're here. Yeah, man. So, Leo, I see three, so I saw co-create, I, mean, I saw three, three, three earlier. Now I got, your first card is co-create, represented by the number 40. You guys may be working on things to build your foundation again. You might have a rock bottom moment, or try to force you kind of to have a no place like home kind of vibe going on in your life, five. We have 40 and then 50. Four or five. So that correlates beautifully. Um, some of you guys may be trying to buy a home, own a home. Um, maybe you guys are trying to build a family, get your family started. You know what I'm saying? You just keep it in the home, like you're introverted. Like you don't go out no more. You prefer to stay at home. Your homebody could be a cancer. Um, and you kind of just want to be out the way of all the bullshit. Like you're kind of above most people right now leos because you guys have tapped into your your higher chakras your third eye and your crown chakra so you're very comfortable with who you are you may be super empathic right now super connected to your emotions super connected to your intuition and trusting it not really stressed out as much as you were when you had hit rock bottom you're kind of just like i want to be up in a way you're kind of focusing on your um I just had it. <sighs> I lost that. Y'all come back to me. But you're kind of just, yeah, you're kind of focusing on your spiritual journey. And below you, it's kind of like, you see this house, how it's like in the air. It's kind of like, you've just been deep down in your subconscious mind. Like, trying to figure out who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and being very successful. So maybe even going into shadow work. But you don't want to have any time for the bullshit of the society right now. You could be ducking low. Um, you guys maybe are getting out of that stage where you need to take a nap. So you kind of like, like, like I said, y'all kind of stay to yourselves. You know what I'm saying? For a while with this take a nap card. At one point, you had to take a break. You was feeling drained moon again you felt like you was in your shadow side so it's kind of draining you a lot so you had to chill out for a sec but now it's like it's a reverse so you're coming out of that state it's kind of like coming out of hermit mode so that part and 
we have imagined. You guys are trying to manifest great things right now with imagine upright. You are putting your faith in God and having dreams in your waking life and maybe having manifesting dreams in your sleep state. You guys are astral traveling. You guys may, some of you guys may be connected to someone on the other side. Um, you just see the world, you're starting to see the world as like endless possibilities. And it is represented by the number 20. So two, selective mind connection with God and yourself, a relationship. Maybe you're trying to manifest a relationship, balance and duality perhaps a little bit. And the time for a map is represented by my number 24 or that number. That's like universe, one of the universal numbers to me. Um, and when you add two and four, that is six. That represents again balance and harmony. So you're coming out of this nap state with like balance and harmony in your soul. Like you did the shadow work. That's tight. I'm a Leo moon, so this relates to me also. Because if it's my Leo moon, that's in my moon energy. That's my divine feminine energy. So I've been introverted as hell and like, you know, I'm not gonna tell my tea, but I can relate. What else do we need for Leo March 2020 energy? And this can happen at any time too. Like this isn't necessarily just having March. This could be now. This could be Yeah, some of you guys are fighting in March 2020. Not like physical fighting or anything like that. Just like fighting for like your stability with the words almost, communication. Maybe you, some of you could be verbally arguing with someone, like going head to head with somebody because maybe someone, I'm hearing bankrupt for some people. Maybe your seven of pinnacles have turned upside down. Maybe this has happened already. Raccoons to me symbolize ruthless thieves. So you could ask someone in your life that kind of like robbed you of your com of your comfort levels, of your comfort cozy lifestyle with your family, and you feel like maybe you guys are verbally like going back and forth or went back and forth about it. But it's definitely something with your money, with your material. Things and this kind of may have been the catalyst to you co creating a new lifestyle for yourself and figuring out who you are, what triggers you, your shadow work that you invested in. And it's like pretty much like, um, I don't want to be too generic, but kind of like how the caterpillar literally turns into a butterfly morphing. You're coming out of that cocoon. You're just, like, coming through with ideas right now about how to make your life better and how to, like, manifest that. What else do we have? Okay, um, March 2020. We have a lot of energy. You guys are still need working on your, like I said, third eye. Yeah, you're trying to balance. Oh, shit. Yeah, the moon. Oh, my God. Before I get into that, you guys are trying to balance your third eye, crown chakra, uh, sacral chakra, your star power, <clears throat> um, your throat chakra, if I hadn't said throat chakra already, and most like your, you know, yeah, those are what I see, third eye, crown, throat, sacral chakras. You guys are balance, trying to balance between Two forms of income, two either two things, uh, two forms of income, maybe two jobs head to head, you're trying to balance it out. Maybe family and friend you're trying to balance out, a lover, your family, your lover, your friend. You're balancing out somebody or you could be juggling with two different people. Two different, but I see most, I'm getting the energy of two different like bags, like, mm. and for some of you guys, like two different families. You may have two families that you have to set, like support. 
you're having you may be and there's another good way that maybe having a difficult time doing that or have such a difficult time of doing that you just decided like i'm gonna wash my hands clean of this and i'm gonna live in a zen state and release all duties all extra shit until i focus on myself and my inner self nothing on my external is gonna go right that's how you're thinking so you kind of just like drop both sacks and just decide to walk out the door and go be by yourself for a bit i'm looking at my adventuring as i said that so guys look up adventuring that's one of the crystals that i pulled for y'all today and i'm going to put all this information in the description box below like the shockage i need to work on the crystals that y'all should be walking around with or buying for yourself this for this month um yeah but you guys like i said we have the moon are you dealing with cancer or you have cancer in your chart whatever um you may be working deeply within yourself you had a you feel like you had to walk away from two things and focus on self because you had a lot of self-doubt within yourself um, maybe you're not as confident as you want to be um i mean so you guys may not be in your divine feminine energy like that sneaky there could be illusions surrounding you, or maybe you're projecting illusions. I'm hearing some of y'all self-hate. Well, and you're kind of just like in your shell like a cancer would be. Hiding from the world and, and looking into yourself. So, and I'm grabbing my selenite as I say that. So, like I said, purifying yourselves. All right, let me, let me head out. Let me do one more for my goddess guidance. And signs y'all could be dealing with. Um, I see a little Aquarius, air energy, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. I said Cancer. And we also have Earth energy out here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So. What do we have for Leo, guys? You guys have been refusing to be receptive also. Maybe you guys have been blocking blessings. And you didn't even know you were blocking blessings. And that's why you may be in a blockage towards actually getting what you want out of life. Listen, this is how I'm going to say this. If, hmm, if you continue to block your blessings, and I mean block your blessings as if someone offers you a position or something or wants to buy you something, and you're like, no. Or you're not accepting help. But you're always giving people help. You're always investing in someone. You're always helping someone with someone. You're always giving someone advice. But when they try to give you advice, you don't want it. That energy. If you keep putting out the energy that you don't want it. If you keep putting out the energy that you don't want it. The universe is going to say, well, he or she doesn't really want it. And they're not going to give you what you want when you want it. If that makes sense. So you're being guided to be receptive. Being your divine feminine energy. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. You want to provide for this seven of cups in reverse, like your family. Something was robbed of you, yes. But you don't feel like yourself. And you feel like you got to fight for that. But you also have to be receptive to other blessings. And this is how you'll break blockages for real. So I'm going to leave that there. Thanks guys so much for tuning in. Like I said, if you liked this video, like it. Like it with a thumbs up. Share it if you want to. Comment below. Um, and definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you always stay up to date when I post. Um, and if you guys want personal readings, definitely take advantage of all of my specials. So thanks guys so much for tuning in. Until next month. Peace.